Three Bears, and welcome back to the Miggy Morning Broadcast. Will you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning once again, and welcome back to the Miggy Morning Broadcast, coming to you from the Chair Studio. Today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2023. We have a few announcements for today, but first let's take it over to Yadetsi with a look at today for weekend's weather. Good morning, Yadetsi. Good morning, Layla, and good morning, Bears. Currently, it's about 60 degrees outside. We have a pretty nice weekend coming up. As we take a look at the weather graphics for the weekend, you'll see that today our daytime temperatures will reach the low to mid-70s today. Then tomorrow we will see sunny skies with daytime temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 70s. Then on Sunday, partly cloudy skies with daytime temperatures at about the mid 70s. As for your overnight lows, those will be in the upper 50s to very low 60s. Things are expected to change though for next week. I'll tell you all about that when we see you back here on Monday morning. That's going to do it for this weekend's forecast. Have a great weekend. Now let's take it back over to Layla for a couple announcements. Yeah, let's see a change in weather. We look forward to hearing about that on Monday. The fifth great graders returned from camp yesterday after being up in the Wrightwood Mountains since Monday, and it looked like they were having a pretty good time. Let's take a look. a great time up there in the mountains of Wrightwood. Welcome home, fifth grade. Well, the yearbook has now gone to press, and it should be ready the last few days of May. We'll give you more information on as the day gets closer. We wanted to let you know that, that now that the book fair is over, we could tell you that the book fair made over $4,000. Over the $4,000, McGee will get back to $2,000 million. 
So, we will be getting more books for the vending machine and for the library. So, thank you for everyone for your support of Book Fair. The next one will be next year during our back to school night next school year. Our stay testing starts next week. We want to remind you all to make sure to get a good night rest every night. Make sure you are having a good breakfast in the morning and make sure you get the school on time. If you get to school late, if you get to s you will have to make up the test and later date. So, be sure to get to school on time. The last thing to remind you for testing is to relax and do what you can do. Everyone is cheering for you and everyone knows you can do this. Let's do it. We have also heard that there is a theme our testing time. We'll see more on that next week. Well, start our series of interviews we did with our guests that came to McGee on Wednesday. We'll start that in just a minute. Miss Dan, Miss Safa getting ready for Feel Good Friday's shout outs. But first, let's see what you can expect for today's lunch and Monday. No kid hungry breakfast. And after that, we will get introduce you to one of our very special guests. Thank you. Um, uh, so No Kid Hungry is here visiting our breakfast in the classroom program. Can you tell us what it means to your organization to know we are running this program here at McGee? It, you know, it is truly inspiring to be a part of a program like this. The opportunity to make sure that kids have healthy meals. Um, as I'm sure you know, breakfast is such an important meal. If you're hungry, when you come into school, you probably you may not be as interested in raising your hand. You may not be interested in being active and excited about school. But when you have a full belly, you're like, let's go, I'm ready for the day. And so the opportunity that we have to ensure that to help kids start the day with something healthy and nutritious uh, is, is very cool. We're, we're excited to be a part of it. Okay, um, we have a lot of other people here at McGee besides No Kid Hungry people. Can you tell us uh, why they are here? Well, ending hunger in, in this country requires a lot of people. I mean, No Kid Hungry, we're a national organization, but we need a lot of partners. We need teachers, we need food and nutrition workers, we need other nonprofit organizations. We need companies who help support us and make sure that we can fund and give grants and support to other communities. So it takes a collective body of people to make sure that this work is possible. And those are all the kinds of people that are here today. Okay. Um, as a senior vice president of development, it's a, to get your job companies to donate to your organization. Can you tell us a little bit about that, about how you do that? a huge part of what we do because a lot of people don't understand how um, deep the hunger crisis is in this country. Like today, uh, it's a big number, but there are more than 9 million kids in this country who are not sure where they're going to get reliable access to food. A lot of people don't understand that. So just think about this. The state of New Jersey, you can fill the state of New Jersey with 9 million kids. Just kids alone, and that's the amount of kids in this country that don't have reliable access to food. So a lot of people don't understand that, so we have to educate people. We have to tell them how significant this issue is. 
and the act, the effects of not being able to have like access to food, as I mentioned, you know, not being able to excel academically, not being able to participate in activities, not just feeling happy and vibrant and having positive mental attitude. All of those things are critical. So a huge part of what we do to inspire people to give is tell them the depth of the problem and what it means and how it can transform a life when you're able to make sure the kids have enough food. Um, if there is one company that you would like to get on the board with No Kid Hungry, what company would that be and why? <laughs> Goodness, why? <laughs> um, we're fortunate to have a lot of great companies supporting our organization. Um, you know, that is a really good question. Um, that's a hard one to answer. We just have so many good companies that support us, like Kroger, who you were just talking to, um, and some of the food industry restaurants like Arby's, and we just we just have so many great supporters, and so it's hard to say any particular one. Um, I just would say uh, we're open to as many supporters and opportunities as, as, as we can get, for sure. Okay. Um, you have me worked for many organizations. That helps people. How is, it, how is this different? This organization different than other organizations? I've always worked at places that I felt like we're going to make an impact in the lives of people. For me, it has always been important to work at a place where I felt like um, I had a strong purpose and that I was going to make a difference in my life. And it started for me uh, by my grandmother. Um, I was a kid, I grew up very poor and I didn't have a lot of opportunities um, and I didn't have a lot of chances in life, but my grandmother said to me at a very young age, no matter what you have, you have a responsibility to help others. And when she said that to me, I said, what do you mean? We're the ones that need help. But she understood that no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, no matter how much money you are, you can always help somebody else. And so as a young child, I always sort of had that in my mind and it sort of directed me to work at other organizations. And so I've worked at organizations that help young people. But I've even worked at an organization called the Alzheimer's Association, which is an organization that works to end the Alzheimer's disease. And so uh, doing great work in helping people. So to me, that has always sort of been the baseline. I always think of my mother and my grandmother and what they taught me. And I'm older, much older than you are, obviously. Um, but what they taught me at your age is right here in my heart uh, to this day. Okay. Um, is there one major goal in No Kid Hungry that has is the future in the future? Our main goal is we want to end childhood hunger. Period. Um, we need to make sure that kids are eating today, right now, and we're going to do our work to support that. But we don't want, we want to live in a country where one kid never, not one kid has to ever worry about where their next meal is coming from. That is our ultimate hope and our objective, and we're going to reach that objective. We feel that we're very confident that one day we will exist in a country where childhood hunger will be a distant memory. Um, well, Bears, that's about it for now. We want to thank Mr. Guest for joining us today. We also want to invite you back here anytime you are here in Los Angeles area. Now let's take it back to the Anchor Desk. Thank you. Thanks again to Miss Gasson from No Kid Hungry. Now let's see who has a birthday this weekend. dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, 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 this is your birthday song. Oh, 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 oh. celebration all night long. Oh, oh, oh. 
Happy birthday to you all. Well, it's Friday, which means we have our Feel Good Friday shout out. But Miss Nancy isn't feeling good today, so she couldn't make it. So Safa will be taking her place for today. And with that, we are going to take it over to Safa with those shout outs. Take it away, Safa. Miggy Bears, today is Feel Good Friday and that means we are going to take time to give a shout out to some of our bears who have gone above and beyond and who are demonstrating pause. <coughs> P for promoting a positive environment, A is for acting responsibly, W is for willing to learn, and S is for showing respect here at McGee. For those who get a shout out this week, you will receive a certificate for a free kids meal at Raising, R Raising Cane's meal and this cool Raising Cane's backpack buddy. Buddy, and and you you will get this very possum wristband. With that with that being said, let's see who gets a shout out. Ismail Rubo, Ismail, you are a wonderful trait. That is who, is how you show respect. I appreciate your gentle, kind way of doing things. You are always respectful in words you use, Le like thank you. You show respect by answering my simple questions in a kind way and with a positive attitude. Ms. Fernandez. Uh, and always, Bears, make sure you continue no, to, posit uh, to promote a positive environment, act responsibly, you are always willing to learn, and you are always showing respect. Have a wonderful Friday. And now let's take it back over to Layla. Safa and congratulations to everyone who received a shout out this weekend. Well, Bears, that's going to do it for today's broadcast. We hope to see you back here on Monday morning while we continue our series of interviews from the past Wednesday. No kids hungry visits. Until then, be safe, stay healthy, and always remember to display pause. P is promoting a positive environment. A is for acting responsibly. W is for willing to learn. And S is for showing respect. Have a fantastic Friday.